Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. This is just a quick, simple video about something that I see as being endemic to a lot of, not only the prepper community, but the entire world. And that is uh, an issue with people where they tend to confuse um, the idea of what's likely to happen uh, with what they would like to happen and what they think should happen. Uh, this has come up uh, for me recently. I did a post about, uh, you know, Trump had done some tweeting about, uh, you know, there's this uh, Muslim congresswoman and, you know, he's throwing out, you know, the normal kind of, unfortunately, normal kinds of like inflammatory stuff uh, that, you know, it's likely to get, you know, crazy, angry, violent people possibly doing crazy, angry, angry, violent things, you know, in this case, towards Muslim people. And, you know, I, I, I did just a comment on this channel and I said that, you know, stuff like that is going to really lead to arms control because, you know, nothing sells arms control like crazy people going around and doing irresponsible things with their weapons. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of pushback on that. And, and the pushback came in, in two forms. One was uh, in the form of, um, you know, saying that, uh, you know, Trump doesn't want to, uh, you know, start arms control. He's not looking to control arms. Uh, so, you know, you know, what I was saying, you know, was unjustified because that's not on Trump's agenda. Well, you know, I don't, I don't personally have an insight into what Trump's agenda is. I don't even know that Trump has an insight into his own agenda from day to day. Maybe he does. But I don't pretend to have an insight into his agenda. What I suggest is that when a certain type of event happens, other sorts of events tend to follow. And the idea of intent doesn't really matter. It doesn't really play into it. And, you know, whether something's intended or not, well, we have a whole phrase, unintended consequences. Consequences are consequences, whether or not that they're intended or not. Another big uh, thrust of criticism of what I was saying was the idea that, you know, people shouldn't blame Trump for these things because, you know, people need to take personal responsibility for themselves. They need to, you know, not be reckless and do these crazy things with their weapons. Absolutely, that's true. But to depend upon our world acting responsibly and acting in an adult way, and presuming that that's going to be the way it is, just because that's the way that we feel it should be, I agree. It would be good. It sh the world should be full of grown adults that make good decisions. But we don't live in that world. And I think that it's uh, problematic for a lot of people who seem to be living in a fantasy world where they think that what someone intends to happen matters when it comes to what actually happens or what should happen whether that matters when it comes to what actually is going to happen. Now, intents are important, uh, you know, especially in, a, in a, a rule of law, like criminal sort of case, you know, someone intending to do something nasty, I think that that certainly plays a role into that. But setting up your future security and the security of your family based on what ought to happen, what should happen, what you wish would happen, and what people intend to happen, that's a big mistake. And I think that a lot of people are living in that mindset. A lot of people, um, you know, just seem to get caught up in the idea of, you know, what ought to be. And they'll fight with other people, you know, myself in this case, about what ought to be and kind of forget about what's, I think, is the more important thing about what is going to be or what will likely be the case. There was a video that I saw recently uh, by a new uh, Upstart channel. I'm, I'm a big fan of his. Uh, its name's Reed and his channel is called Manifestation of Imagination. Here's a link to the video in particular that I saw of his. And he, he talks about this as well, only in the context of climate change. You know, he, he's talking about, you know, you get these kind of two camps. I mean, the, the camps go on and on, but two big camps when it comes to climate change. One is people that think of catastrophic climate change, global warming, you know, uh, you know uh, human caused global warming. That's kind of one camp people and I, I find myself more in that in that side of things I, I that is what I tend to find to be the most credible outcome that we're headed to and then you've got another camp of people that uh, you know are saying ice age ice age is coming you know and uh, and it would seem as though those are kind of two completely different things and you kind of have to pick a side on that but you know the way that Reed talks about it in his video and I encourage you to see his video is that to some degree it doesn't even matter what is what is the background cause of a lot of this stuff? But what's important is where we're headed and how you're gonna to respond to that. If the way you're gonna to respond to that is just kind of pointing fingers at people and yelling about what should be the case, 
what ought to be the case, you know, what people intend to be the case, I think that people are going to miss a big opportunity to actually make their future better. Uh, you know, people get irritated when things go, you know, quote unquote political. I, I don't see the idea of forecasting possible future events as being political, even if you're talking about people who work in politics. You know, the idea of being political is having a worldview, a mindset, and trying to impose that on everyone else around you. You know, this is the way I think the world ought to be. And, you know, you guys need to see the world that way as well. You know, I, I want to function in, in, that, in that respect. That's not where I'm coming from, though. Where I'm coming from is this is what I see happening on the ground. And if you look back through history, these are the most common likely events that are to follow that. You know, whether or not I say the word, word Trump or Obama or Bernie Sanders or, you know, I still have trouble saying her name. Everyone calls her AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Uh, you know, whether you're throwing in the names of political figures doesn't necessarily make your argument political or not. What makes it political is the idea that you have a lens through which you see the world, and that's the only lens you're capable of seeing the world through, and you expect everyone else to look at the world through that lens as well. I am a fervent oppo uh, opponent of that way of looking, uh, looking at the world. And I also think that it is perilous for anyone that looks at the world in that way because they're invariably going to fail to, uh, you know, see the writing on the wall, so to speak, if it's written in a different language than they speak. That's it. Think about it. And, you know, maybe adapt. <laughs> but don't necessarily think that the way the world ought to be or it should be is going to be the way that it is because very frequently it doesn't turn out to be that way. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.